What's up developers? This is chapter two of my Cloudflare and Hono course. And in this chapter, we'll cover three things. So first we'll create a GitHub repository. And then second, we will go through the VS Code extensions that I recommend for this course. And then third, we will create an Astro app using Bun. So let's get started. All right, so here I am on the GitHub homepage or my profile page, and I'm gonna go ahead and create a new repository. And this is always the best first step when starting up a new app because we need a place to safely store our code and version control. And so I'm just gonna call this Cloudflare Hono waitlist template because that's exactly what it is, so make it easy. And then I'm going to keep the visibility as public so that everyone watching the video can um, find this code and use it, and other people out in the world could use it too. And I'll leave all the other defaults, and then I'm gonna create the repository. Okay, cool. So Gemini Code Assist was installed on the repo. I have that set up uh, to happen automatically so I can have AI do reviews of my code if I want. And now we have an empty repo and we have some different options to get this repo onto our own local computer. So I have GitHub desktop set up. So I'm gonna click this button and open GitHub desktop. And here we are, clone a repository and put it into my code folder. That's exactly where I want it. So I'm happy with all that and then I'll Click the clone button. And now I have this uh, waitlist template repo on my local computer. So if I switch over to VS Code and I open up a folder and then go over to my code and there we are, Cloudflare Hono waitlist template. Select the folder and I have it opened up. So notably, there are no files or anything. This is an empty project, but we now have our GitHub repo connection established. So when we start writing code, we can just push it right up to GitHub, which is really convenient. All right, now I'm gonna walk you through the VS Code extensions that I have installed that I think um, will be very useful for this course. So the first one is the Astro extension. So this provides language support for Astro, which enables some formatting, IntelliSense, um, all those niceties while writing code. So I definitely recommend this one. And then the next one I recommend is Prettier. There we are. So I have this one installed as well. So this will help to format code for JavaScript, TypeScript, um, CSS, all these types of files, which is really handy. So whenever you save, um, your code will get formatted. So it's more readable, which is very nice. So then the next one I want to take a look at is ESLint. So this is code linting. If you're not familiar with that, it provides you some warnings when certain things don't make sense in the code. So it can help to catch bugs early. And we will set up Prettier and ESLint in uh, future chapters. So I'll walk you through all of that step by step. Um, but just continuing down the VS Code extensions. The other one I'll be using is REST Client. I'm a big fan of this one. It allows us to manually send HTTP requests and quickly test our API. Um, it's, it's very nice. And then I have the SQLite Viewer. So Florin Clampfer. And this is really nice because um, the Cloudflare D1 database is SQLite. So we can actually, while we're testing locally, just click on our SQLite files and view them directly in VS Code. So it's, it's a little database GUI inside of VS Code. It's really handy. So I'll definitely be using that a lot. And last one, Tailwind CSS IntelliSense. Okay, we'll be using Tailwind, and this um, little extension, it, it provides some pop-ups. So here you can see um, 
it gives you these recommendations as you're typing. So this is really handy uh, to have since we'll be using Tailwind. So that covers it for the different extensions. And now we can jump into creating our Astro app. So here I am on the Astro documentation uh, page where they give us instructions on how to set up Astro with Bun. And the first thing that I want to call out here is the big caution sign. So using Bun with Astro may reveal rough edges. So they're not fully compatible yet, but we're still going to give it a try. So they recommend coming over to Bun's official documentation. And I've read through all of this, and the most important part that I want to call out is right here. So by default, Bun will run the dev server with Node.js. And so in order to use the Bun runtime, we need to add this dash dash Bun flag. So here's my plan. I'm going to start with the dash dash Bun flag, and if we run into a bunch of rough edges and a bunch of errors that I can't explain, then we'll fall back to Node.js. And... Um, will make do. So jumping back over here to the documentation, they provide us this nice CLI command that we can copy. And let's jump back over to VS Code. So here we have our empty project. And let's clear out some old terminal history and paste this here. And then I'll put Cloudflare, Hono, waitlist. And how would you like to start your project? I'm going to go with the recommended basic starter project and then install dependencies. No, not yet. I will do that myself and initialize a new Git repository. No, we don't need to do that either because this repo is already a Git repository. So there we go. It has finished setting up our boilerplate. Um, and you can see here we've got our top level folder and then this folder. I don't like that. This is just a unnecessary nesting of folders. So I'm going to grab all of that, move it up here, and then delete this empty folder now. So that way everything is in the root of the folder. And then uh, we're getting some warnings down here because I have not installed the dependencies yet. So if we take a look at the package JSON, um, the dependencies here, we just have Astro. So let's go ahead and do bun i for bun install. Okay, so it looks like it finished up there and we still have a couple of errors lingering. So let's try and just reload the window. So you can see here, developer reload window. Sometimes that happens when you just install dependencies. It doesn't pick up the changes right away. All right, so it looks like everything is happy now. And so here we can see the, this default of the dev, Astro dev. Um, in order to run it with bun, we need that, that bun flag in there. And we'll do that in just a second. But first, let's take a look at all the, the files that it generated for us. So here we have this top level like .vs code, and these are just VS code configurations, and we'll leave it with the recommended ones that they have. And um, some people don't use VS code, they'll use some other code editor. So it's generally best practice to actually put the .vs code in the git ignore. So that way these uh, configuration files aren't polluting our repo uh, if someone else is using cursor or Z or something else. So node modules, that's just um, the, the dependencies we installed. And then if we take a look at public, we have a favicon of the Astro logo. So we can leave that for now. We'll delete it later. And then here under our source, it gives us some assets. So another image, a background image. Okay. Um, a components folder with a welcome component. So nothing too crazy in here, some styles, a layout. So our components will be rendered inside of the layout and a pages folder. So here we can see that the pages directory has an index and this will be our main file. And then our welcome component is rendered inside of here. Cool. 
So now if we come back, so git ignore, we have a, a config file for Astro, bunlock, um, and a readme with some basic information we don't really need to worry about and some basic TS config. So here's what I want to do. I want to first run the server just as is with this demo app they spun up. So bun run dev. And then we can see it's hosted on port 4321. And we can see our demo app that was spun up. Cool. So our server is alive and well and working. And if we jump back over to VS Code, then what I want to do, close that. And I want to run this with bun. So we need to do bun run dash dash bun astro.dev. And then make sure that that's working. Jump back over. And we can see our server is alive and well, and everything's working. Cool. So no rough edges with Bun yet. Jumping back over to VS Code, let's go ahead and kill this server. And then I want to test out the build. So this will also will use Bun. So Bun run, Bun astro build, and Bun run build. And there we go, seems to have worked. We have our dist folder with our production assets. So that looks good. And then to preview those production assets, we would do bun run preview. And we can take a look at that. And that's working as well. Cool, so all of the boilerplate uh, is working and working with bun. So the next thing that I want to do here is create um, a new folder inside of our source. So here's what I'm thinking. I, I prefer to have a separate client folder and server folder. So right now we just have the client code, which is Astro. And in a later chapter, we're going to create a Hono server. So inside of source, I want to actually add a new folder and call it client and keep all of this stuff inside of the client folder. So I'm going to move it and grab this and that and move it into the client. And there we go. So everything is now inside of my client folder. And if we go ahead and run this again, we're getting a 404 error. And that was actually expected. I knew that would happen. And the reason why is because the folder structure is important to Astro. So Astro is looking for these different um, pages inside of the source. And since we've moved it inside of client, it doesn't know where to look. So that's okay, there's an easy fix for this. Under the Astro config, we can tell it where to look. So here I can do a source dir and do inside of source, look for client instead. And then if we do bun run dev and test out our local, we can now see our, our server has found the files and it's working as expected. Cool. So now that that is all working, we're going to wrap up the chapter and in the next chapter, we are going to install Tailwind, CSS, and Daisy UI. And oh, I, I almost forgot, actually, the last thing I want to do here is push up my changes. So it's important to keep track of all of the work that we're doing. And so if we take a look at all of these changes, make sure these are files that we want to push up to GitHub. So that's fine. We'll leave that for now. We can leave all of that for now as well. Okay, and we'll just say initialized repo, commit everything, publish the branch. And then if we jump back over here and I hit refresh on my page, we should see all of those files. Cool, so now we're, we've saved our work. All right, happy coding and see you in the next one.